So I thought this video would be pretty necessary. Uh, oh, by the way, don't don't run away. It's not an Arkham video. I'm just on here for scenery. I had a comment on a video recently that actually really bothered me, and it's the first time a comment's really done that in a while. It was a comment just basically saying I'm a sellout and that it's ruining my channel. So I thought I'd address this comment pretty head on because I know a lot of people might maybe think that and a lot of people might maybe not check the comments. I mean if one guy thinks it there's no reason for more people than him not to. It's a difficult video for me to make I guess because I mean I have made paid content before. <gasps> It may come as a shock to some of you guys, or maybe it's not. To be honest, most of the older audience kind of get it. Some of your favourite YouTubers obviously need something to kind of occupy the time, or at least have some- How do I not have feed? Have some sort of income. I mean, I am 16, and a lot of my friends work, a lot of, you know, a lot of YouTubers that aren't my personal friends work as well. I've worked with servers that paid me to make videos before, faction servers like Revive, and they were probably one of the least enjoyable parts of me playing factions. I played it with and I'm sure he can vouch for me that it was pretty crap when we played. We played the server, I didn't enjoy making the content, the content that I actually made was kind of crappy. People didn't enjoy it as much as I would like. And I have made paid content in the past, the, some of the videos that I most hated on the channel were because someone hit me up giving me my first opportunity to get a paycheck from YouTube, which at the time obviously I was making, you know, a thousand views video, which was amazing in terms of people, but obviously YouTube don't really see it as that, and you know. When there's YouTubers out there that get millions of views at video, then it's it's just kind of like, your 1000 views looks like absolutely nothing. But that is in essence a thousand people that separately watch your videos, which is still insane to me to this day. And with recording on Brutal, I don't know if you've watched the original video on that, but I did a video completely detailing, or at least mostly detailing what happened with that. I did have the owner take some money from me during that and that really kind of fucked with my head with paid content, server owners and everything like that. It was really just not a good experience in general. and the fallout after that video was even greater so i just don't really have a great relationship with paid content and viewers and my personal mental health so i usually don't do that aside from one that if you read the original comment he said something about uploading an elemental factions video or not video sorry a trailer for that server and which i immediately took down and refunded the money from upon about 10 hours of releasing the video since it was just something that i felt so bad about and i didn't like that the fact that that was on my channel you'll notice a lot of youtubers even youtubers that like targeted or ben mascot or something you know they're archon youtubers of course they don't get paid from the videos they make it's archon Really? Does Russia really need more YouTubers to help him with his server? But no, YouTubers from the Archon don't really get paid unless they're a gigantic channel. Which none of us are! There was a dude in the comments saying I got $700 from a video, like holy fuck, that is the amount of money in my entire savings. So no, I don't make these absurd amounts of money from a video. Getting back to the original point, you'll see it like even smaller, I mean like Target has his own Skyblock server, that's just so he can keep doing YouTube, you know, just keep doing what he loves to do. I fully support him in that, I mean he's like my age, he needs kind of, I mean we're both full time students, we st will still need stuff to buy textbooks and shit, won't we? The mascot opened an entire server on the Archon, Napkin who's a bit older who had a job beforehand it doesn't really count but he has his own server on the archon as well but he was one of my youtuber friends i will show you guys my twitter p twitter <laughs> so i have a twitter account you can uh, follow it uh, it's called finster my youtube pms and i'll show you guys some of the messages that i get some of them are hilarious because <laughs> they always misspell my name showing you guys on screen now these are just some of the messages that i get from servers and i never really take these i'm, I'm sorry if you do youtube pm me for like server deals i i don't really take those Especially because some of them- look how sketchy some of them look. <laughs> yeah, but it, it might come as a surprise to you that yes, there is some paid content on YouTube and on factions and on stuff like CSGO and stuff like that. There's loads. <laughs> so now I've got the kind of big topic out the way of just saying that and it feels a bit odd. I'm not sure what sort of response this video is going to get, whether it'll just be completely fucking bombarded by dislike. This video might be the end of my channel just because I spoke about money. I have spoke about money before, like I co-owned Brutal and they uh, they completely fucked me over with money so you can kind of see how my relationship with server owners work now. Then also he just said you're just recording on these small servers. Now please name me a server that isn't Archon, that's a big enough so I mean okay that's probably an easy task there are plenty but there are thousands of people watching this right I play on servers typically with a hundred 200 players on at a time, which is still a big server, right? I mean, the Archon only has about 300 on right now. There are so many people on this channel. I just want to ask, what servers do you play? Like, I don't know why I've never asked this before, but it seems just so obvious to me now. I can just ask you guys, what servers do you even play on? What, what do you want me 
to come see you on? Why do you need to come to a different server when I can just come to you? If there's a lot of people playing on one server, sure I'll come play it, I'll come record some episodes on it. It'd be great fun. But recommend me servers to play, honestly, you can always do it. Just say, come play on this server, I play on it, some of my friends do, we'd love to meet you, that sort of thing. Even greater if they're in a faction so I don't have to do all of the base work. I don't have to start a faction all by myself. But yeah, go, please tell me that in the comments. Also, ask me as many questions as you like, don't just jump to conclusions or anything, just ask me questions, I'm around. If the video gets over 100 comments, I'll still be around to comment on them if there are decent questions there. I thought you guys might appreciate knowing this, plus this comment kind of struck a chord with me, I guess, in the wrong way. It just, it, I don't know. It's a bit shitty to, to criticize something that I've worked on for so long. I mean, literally years I've worked on this channel and people work on their channels and being called a sellout is kind of shitty. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm sure I'll get more of these comments, but I just thought I'd make this video here to put it to rest. It'll only be a short video. I'm planning on filming a episode of Factions 101 with Sagtot today. Hopefully that goes well, so uh, before the video goes up and I still have some time, I'll probably edit this before we start filming. You can uh, you can let me know what you want to see because uh, I, I'm asking for a lot of comments this video. <laughs> I know, it's a lot of work. You can comment multiple times. <laughs> I'm just hoping you guys will appreciate some of the, the truths that I've told, <laughs> I guess. Maybe you guys will understand YouTubers, smaller YouTubers a bit more. I don't really want you guys going out criticizing even smaller YouTubers than me. Anyone can have fun on a server if you guys are getting content then that you enjoy even. I mean, first and foremost, if it's content you enjoy, then there you go. If, if you absolutely hate me playing on servers like Frontier and Vanity in the future, because it's kind of had a bit of a shitty, shitty start, just tell me, honestly. You say, hey, I've, Vanity's not a good server, you shouldn't play it. Come play this one, it's much better. Just say that. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to the server owners of the server. We'll get in contact. We can do crate keys. We can do loads of stuff. We can hang out. Just tell me what you want. However, I'm not going to force myself to have fun on a server if I don't enjoy it. Anyway, I've stressed this point way too much. This video is probably getting a bit too long and I'm just saying the same points over and over again. I will see you guys in the next video of hopefully Factions 101. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Have fun. Play some factions. See you guys in the next video. Fuck, I already said that. I just said see you guys in the next video. Have a fuck. Ah, goodbye.